Hi, this tutorial is for Bixby, Samsung's AI assistant that's going to be deployed to 500 million devices. My name is Roger Kibbe. I'm a developer evangelist for Bixby. Bixby is going to take conversational AI and voice into the future. What we're going to build today is a sample capsule. This is a simple capsule where the capsule in Bixby terms is a voice application or a skill. Um, but let's jump right into that capsule, I'll show you a demo, and then I'll show you how we build it. Okay, so let's see that capsule that we just talked about. And this is very simple, like I said. We're just going to ask, what's the capital of New York? The capital of New York is Albany. The capital of New York is Albany. Let's try another state. Let's try New Mexico. The capital of New Mexico is Santa Fe. The capital of New Mexico is Santa Fe. So something really simple. Let's jump in and see how we actually go build these, this and the components that are part of it. This is Bixby 101. So really your homepage in the web for Bixby is www.bixbydevelopers.com. Let me jump there right now and give you a little bit of a tour. So this is bixbydevelopers.com, the Bixby Developer Center. You can see you can download the IDE for Windows or Mac here. Um, under these getting started guides, this quick start guide is really useful. Um, you build this dice capsule, um, which is really simple. You go over here, there's some other guides, there's developer references, and all the documentation you'd need is available here. And then this support key, um, you can open a support ticket if you have challenges, you can request a new feature, or ask for feedback. And Bixby Developer Forum is our community on Stack Overflow. If I jump over there, um, and this is where we really encourage people to ask questions about Bixby, because if you have a question about Bixby, there's probably dozens of other developers have the same question. And Stack Overflow is such a great way to share questions and answers about Bixby. All right, so let's jump back and talk about your other kind of homepage in the web for uh, Bixby, which is our GitHub repo, which is github.com Bixby developers. And let me go over there. And this is our GitHub presence. And we have a lot of sample capsules here. So Dice is probably the simplest sample capsule there to more advanced ones like shoe and shirt and the most advanced one being space resorts. You can see this capsule sample states and capitals. That's what we're reviewing today. And uh, this sa capsule sample quiz, in fact, are some additional tutorials that we're working on. So this is a great place to go, download a sample, sample code and start playing with Bixby. All right, so what's different about developing for Bixby? So Bixby is really different than a lot of platforms and it's a declarative model first approach. So instead of writing a bunch of code up front, you really model and you model a bunch of your objects and then Bixby actually writes the code for you. And this is really different from many platform, from many web, mobile platforms or other voice platforms that tend to be on the code heavy side. Um, so it's model first, then add your code. Your code is typically your value add, so that's your more complicated logic or your external API calls. So this is difficult at first to get your head around it. I encourage you to, to read up, read the docs, watch this tutorial, and just understand that you got to learn how to model first and then develop your code, not, not have it be code first. So our sample capsule, I gave you a glimpse of that running, is really simple. We're just asking the question, what is the capital of state name? And answering, the capital of the state name is, is the capital. So what is the capital of California? And the output is the capital of California is Sacramento. And then there's a little state outline graphic below there. And I have the, the link to the GitHub uh, repo with this code there below. So feel free to download that and take a look at that as you're looking at this uh, tutorial, or you can take a look at it later. Okay, so this is the conceptual flow of a Bixby capsule. I'm not gonna go over all these parts right now, but I'm gonna go over each of them individually. And this is everything that you need to build the Bixby capsule and the flow that goes through that. Okay, so to develop this capsule, uh, we need to first to define our input. So what is the capital of California? California is that input, that input variable. And in Bixby, you call it a concept. Um, and then what do we do with that, that input variable, that concept? We need to do something with it. So in Bixby, we call that an action. We'll call our action find capital. Um, you call that the verb or the method in traditional programming. So what is the capital of California? 
you have embedded in that the action, find the capital, and that extra variable, that concept, California itself. So those are the input concepts and actions. And then on the output side, we're saying the capital of California is Sacramento. So we need that output capital, Sacramento in this state, and a state graphic that we show in the UI. So you can see a state graphic of California there. And because we have two output concepts, both a capital and a state graphic, we, have, we create what's called a structure concept. And all that is really is an object that holds both the capital and the state graphic. So let's review where we are. So we talked about concepts, both concepts on the input side, state in our, in our example. And in the output, we've had both a capital and a state outline graphic. And then we have that action, which is that find capital. So how do we tie all this together? We have our input, we have our output. What do we do in the middle? We need to create two things. One is an endpoint, and this is how we model taking that action and calling our logic. And then we actually need to write our logic, our business, our, our code. And we do that in JavaScript. CapitalLookup.js is our, is our logic for outputting the, for find, taking the state as input and finding the capital and then sticking in that output concept itself. So with that, we've actually talked about enough to actually get a really basic, basic Bixby capsule running. So let me show you this running. So I'm gonna switch to a capsule that has the, what we've talked about actually running. And you can see this intent, goal, find capital. I have to use some special language. Because we haven't trained it for natural language, I have to use this programmer-like language to give input. So if I run this. I need a state to continue. You get this really bare bones UI that asks you for a state. So let's use the state of Washington. Here's what I found. And you see you got the output. So it says, you can see in text, the, the output, this, the capital is Olympia and the state graphic Washington.png. Um, but you know, this is a really programmer-centric view. I had to use a special way to, to start it out in that input, and then there's that ugly UI, both, both asking me what was the state and the ugly UI and the output. So let's go fix that. So what do we do, need to do? One, we need to create an output U, UI and speech. So the output speech is what in Bixby we call a dialogue. And that's both what Bixby speaks aloud, but also what Bixby at the top of the screen is the header there. And then the view is the UI, and that's that state outline graphic there. And then we have natural language input, which we call training, which allows us to speak to Bixby in natural language. So let's dive into those a bit. So the output, like I said, is called a dialogue. The capital of California is Sacramento. That's our output dialogue. And you notice there's two concepts in there. One, California, so that was that input state concept. And two, Sacramento, and that was that output capital concept. And then we need to have a UI, views. And our view is really simple. It's just a simple image that's a state outline graphic there. And then we need to train Bixby for natural language to understand so we can talk to it naturally. And in this example, we just trained a one simple sentence. What is the capital of blank state name. So what is the capital of California? What is the capital of Washington? What is the capital of New York? Et cetera, et cetera. And so we enter that, what is the capital of? And then we, we say, hey, that very end is a special variable, and that's going to be our input concept. And then that will pass on to the Bixby logic and, and show you the capital, the, the capital of that state. OK, so let's run this in all together, completed. So let me switch again to something that has it all completed. What is the capital of New Mexico? The capital of New Mexico so is go. Santa Fe. You have everything you want. We ask it in natural language, what's the capital of New Mexico? And we got the the capital of New Mexico is Santa Fe in the image there. So we'll run it just one more time. What is the capital of Florida? The capital of Florida is exactly. Tallahassee. So the capital of Florida is Tallahassee, and you can see the outline graphic there of Florida itself. So this is 
in a very simple terms, a very simple Bixby capsule. But we've built and talked about everything you need to build a simple Bixby capsule. And every Bixby capsule you build is going to require everything that we've talked about today. So let's review what we created. So we created, we talked about concepts. So those are those nouns. So our input was the state. And our output was both, uh, both a, a capital, the capital of that state, and a graphic outline. Um, and then we needed to create the code. So we have this, uh, we need to, excuse me, we need to create an action that says find the capital. And then we create the code. So we create an endpoint that says tie that action to this business logic, this business logic written in JavaScript, findcapital.js. Um, and when we ran that, it was really programmer-like UI, both on the input and output side. So what we did is we created a dialogue, um, and that was what was spoken aloud and was the, uh, the header on the top of the screen. And in a view, which showed you that, that state graphic. And in the training, what is the capital of blank state name you input there? So your next steps, really, go to BixbyDevelopers.com, download and install the Bixby Studio, sign up for a Samsung account, which is required. You can go to our GitHub, download the states and, capsule, and, and capitals capsule, uh, or any of the other sample capsules. Uh, you know, read the documentation, jump into it, explore it, you know, break it a million times, build something, have fun, and start being creative and thinking about your own capsules and, and what you want to do. So well, thank you. Once again, my name is Roger Kibbe. I'm a Bixby developer evangelist, and you can reach me on Twitter at Roger Kibbe. And I'd really encourage you, jump in and build something amazing. There's so much opportunity in voice and conversational AI to build amazing applications. You know, I think Bixby is a great place to get started. Go build something amazing and blow our socks off. Thanks so much.